Okay, uh, it's uh, March 4th, and it's about 5.10, and we're going to start our select board meeting Wednesday, March 4th. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, item 2, approval of the minutes February 5th, 2020, February 13th, 2020, February 17th, 2020, and February 18th, 2020. Make a motion to approve A, B, and C, and D as read. Second. All in favor? It is unanimous. Um, item 3, review of treasurer's warrants, payroll 14, 16, 18, accounts payable 15 and 17. Make a motion to approve A and B as read. Second. All in favor? It is unanimous. Uh, we have no guests, so we will fly right by open session. Old business, Piscataquis County assessment. Well, if you remember the last, I think it was February 5th, we had it on the war had the county warrant for you guys to sign, and it said Abbott instead of Sangerville. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. I went in immediately and called, and he said, oh, I mailed those out yesterday. Well, it just occurred to me today that I haven't received it yet, and so, <laughs> <laughs> and so I will be calling them again tomorrow. Okay. Um, sorry, but that's all right. Uh -huh. yeah, they're wanting. Uh, item six: New business appointment of fire chief. We're supposed to do that the first meeting in December. Huh. Oh, I thought it was January. On that document yeah, you sent us. Yeah, I read that. Um, I think it says the. No, yeah, I think. It's I did read that, but I didn't make note of it. But anyway, we were supposed to do but it. But we haven't done it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whether it was January or right, right. we haven't done it. Um, and have we ever done it? We probably have always done it. Always done it, but I think it's always been closer to town meeting. Yeah, meeting. okay, okay. I don't remember doing it that early. Oh, okay. well, so, what does it say? I, I mean, chief. you must have an old one or something we've signed. Yeah, I, I could find mm -hmm. it. I, no, figured, I figured we had to do it. Um, the, select, the Board of Selectmen shall appoint the fire chief annually at their first regular meeting after December 1st of each year. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, my only, it seems like we're long overdue on discussion with the chief and kind of a, you know, we've got a new town manager and how they're going to work together. Right. It, what a great opportunity for us to appoint the chief, but at the same time have a meeting with him. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I think we ought to table it, or but at okay, least consider true. tabling it. I don't know what you guys think, but. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. I mean, we've never, we, I, it's interesting you look at that, I guess it's an ordinance. It's kind it, of a collection of. Well, I have, it was approved at a special town meeting December 21st, 1992. Oh. Is paper. that the most recent, the most current? There are two others in my computer. There is no evidence that either of them were ever passed. Uh -huh. There were attempts to amend this, but it hasn't really... But we're not sure what is actually legal here. Well, either. so I said, we can table this and go to fire department ordinance. Okay. okay. There you so go. do you I'll want to table motion. the appointment? Yeah, I make a motion to a ta table the appointment of fire chief. Okay. Uh, well, all in favor? A is tabled. On to B, Fire Department Ordinance. Okay, so I've had discussions with our lawyer about a couple of Fire Department issues. We did not actually discuss the legality of this. I have to assume that there are, are some issues if it's so old. But So I went and pulled state statute. Um, what is it? There it is. So, definitions, um, municipal fire department means an organized firefighting unit established under mis municipal charter, ordinance, or bylaw. Um, it establishes what providing emergency services is. A municipal firefighter means an active member, whether full-time, part-time, or on-call of a municipal fire department who aids in the extinguishment of fires or individual who receives compensation from the municipality for aiding in the extinguishing of fires. Um, and I talked about volunteers, we don't have any. Um, methods of protection, fire chief. 
This one's interesting. Notwithstanding the method of fire protection services provided by a municipality, a fire chief shall be appointed in each municipality unless the municipality provides by vote of its legislative body for the election of a municipal fire chief by the members of the municipal fire department or volunteer association or provides that the voters of the municipality will elect a municipal fire chief at the regular municipal election or town meeting. So we have an ordinance and it says that we appoint. Mm -hmm. um, and then, then it outlaws the duties of the fire chief. Of the fire chief. And unless otherwise provided by charter or ordinance, employ uh, the fire chief employs all municipal firefighters appoints a deputy and other officers in a municipal fire department and removes them for cause after notice and hearing. So apparently you can have your ordinance say something different, but... But this is the, the baseline. This is the baseline. And are we doing it that way right now, to your knowledge? To my knowledge, we kind of waffle around and we don't follow much of anything, but our ordinance um, says... Fire chief before <coughs> the fire chief shall have the sole and final discretion to make the decision to employ firefighters in the department. Um, it also says our firefighters have to reside within the limits of the town of Sangamon. Yeah, I read that. That was interesting. But then, in another subsequent one, because you had put several, then it said within 18 miles. That's because they were trying to draw people in from other right. towns. Right. Okay. They're trying to keep but their numbers up. But they didn't amend the first one. They never actually amended. They never passed it. Right. So we they have. they had a series of meetings. They've got this document that has sort upgrades of, to, to sure. this. Okay. And, and but we never it never right. got passed. My concern is it looks like a hodgepodge. Right. Uh, and we know that when it comes to employee issues, that there are rules. Right. And there's liability on the part of the town if you don't handle it right. Uh, so my thought is we need to get a, a legal opinion. How is this document, this ordinance, valid? And if it isn't, how do we go about fixing it? Because mm -hmm. um, that's my concern, honestly, is is the liability. And I mean, just you could have the most qualified fire chief in the world as far as firefighting. But that doesn't mean he has a strong HR background mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. hiring, disciplining, documentation, and things like that. Right. That's and if that's his responsibility, we need to make sure he gets that training. But we've never, I don't think we're, anybody's doing anything around that. No, Lorna has to chase every new firefighter to get all their um, documentations, their W-4s. So that's, their so that's not even her job. Yeah. Right. That's all stuff he's supposed to So do. I think we've got a little bit of a... Right, right. We need to clean this. Is, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Because there's liability with all this. Right. And then the fire chief answers to me, but he's got sole discretion over... <laughs> over his employees. Yeah, but he said, you say that, but there's references in there where he comes to us. Yep. Yeah, we can, so it's we still can determine sketchy. how many fire right. I think I think the board has quite a lot of latitude in terms of tasking the town manager as, as far as implementation. Right. You know, uh, I don't think we want to interact with the chief or the assistant chief. And, no, and but, right. Be but we could have a mission statement and give it to the town manager and, she, and the manager is essentially, yeah, is basically right. going to oversee. Right. But that's not what our ordinance says. Well, our ordinance seems to be all over the place. I fully agree. That's so what I'm I don't saying. know really what, I think, we need to find out what's valid, because if we have an ordinance that's on the other side of state statute, mm -hmm. I think the ordinance is invalid. Mm -hmm. I didn't find anything that directly... The other day, you get labor laws that fall into other Correct. Things. I mean, I, I get the, the piece that under the municipal fire department, blah, 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 that's great. But there's labor laws that's going to coincide with that that all have to be I'll tell you MMA would be as good as it because they're going to look at that and say oh no 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 he's he's the one that should be doing that not you or yeah. the select board shouldn't be doing that because of this and because when we went to those uh, <clears throat> trainings they, they're pretty adamant about who answers to who right and at um, the end of the day you yeah. want the minimum amount in their ordinance is what you should have if you look on MMA's website and I didn't thought I brought it with me but I don't 
Oh, there it is, right there. This is how they recommend an ordinance to start a municipal fire department. Fire department. Uh -huh. It's very, very brief. So. Well, you don't want it anymore. That I mean, because it's not complicated. Well, the yeah. more you put on documentation, the more you you're you're handcuffed because the only way you're going to make an amendment is go back to the town. Yeah, well, remember, and basically it says you follow state law. Yeah. Right. Remember the personnel policy that we dove into? Now, that was a policy, but we literally had we had policy provisions that were for individual people. Yes. I mean, that was such a... Yes, you know. yes. It was... And this right. almost smacks us close. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, we need to... Digit and I just think this, you know, the liability for the town is. Yeah. Good. So I will send this to MMA tomorrow and sure. and see what they. Yeah, let's get yeah. started on. Yeah. It. What they can tell and clean the, it up. It's really about protecting everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't want the chief to get in trouble. We don't want to get in trouble. We don't want you to get in trouble. Mm -hmm. And we want a clear line of who right. who's Correct. responsible to whom and yep. who you know, answers to who answers to who. Right. And, yeah. Yep. So. Yep. It seems like, you know, over the years, people get an idea of how they want to do something, and they just nice. do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we followed that, and I don't know that anybody knew we still had it, it per se. Uh -huh. No, oh, they definitely don't follow it. Yeah. Uh, so. Well, okay. it's interesting, because I don't know if anybody see the article. I don't remember the town, but this, this exact conversation was in the paper just the other day. Oh, yeah, they, well, they, they, all threw, they all quit. Oh, yes. oh, yes. So basically, yeah, in a yeah, nutshell, yeah. that's what... Was that what yeah. about me? I can't remember, but that was the nutshell. Was that. The town manager, basically, it was a personnel issue, yep. and the town manager tried to get the fire chief to do something, and yep. he, they went above him. And if, I mean, there was a huge amount of comments on that, and it was really it was funny because that's what really I was thinking about all this, because there you go. you got a fire chief that's trying to run it as a mm. fire department, but he's not the HR guy. So now you got your town manager that's trying to help you make the proper HR type decisions. Because if he's had all, he or she's had all the training of what of, to avoid. Exactly, and well, you're going to get sued. <laughs> and there was, I don't know, when I looked at the thread, it was well over a hundred comments. Oh my! And it was everybody, and this is because of the society we're in today. Because somebody said something negative about a firefighter oh. in public, there was not a single comment about process or liabilities or or anything to do with that it was all how dare anybody question oh, fire a fire chief you know and mm -hmm. it's not a matter of questioning a fire chief no as a it chief isn't. it's about the process right right but nobody in that article could distinguish i don't think that. most people have any idea what municipal how thorny oh, municipal employees are yeah it's so, mm -hmm. until you i had no idea until i got here yeah, yeah. So I have the list of all of our ordinances that I I think it's not maybe on. Those, no it is on there it it's is not that online Sangerville Fire Department no it's not online ordinance twelve twenty one nineteen ninety two that's what I found that's the list of the ones I found while I was yeah. digging through yeah you know. I just just looked to see whether in fact did it, you try to match that up to what's online to see how many more we're missing that we don't know about oh no 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 no. I just pulled this out because I've yeah. kept this in here just so that I know what I ordered. There, are, there are a fair few. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. It's just weird all the attempts to amend and the th because you don't know that. what's valid and what's not valid. Right. Close. Oh. And then you have you, well, you can't amend it. I, I'll just ask MMA. Do we um, get rid of this one and oh. do a clean one? I don't think you can do that without going to the town. Well, no, I well, mean, I, I think you, you have, have to go to the town. If you have one that's illegal, I think you can. Well. Mm -hmm. But you, oh, you, you, you can't yeah. keep an illegal uh, ordinance. But you can't. You can't. Illegal. You, yeah, you can't would, enforce an illegal correct ordinance. I would guess. Yeah, I don't. I I understand what you're saying. Yeah. I just I don't know. It's illegal to have an illegal. Ordinance. Yeah. Well, I guess <laughs> so. You. You come to the town. Yeah. You say, listen, our 92 ordinance is is out of whack. It's, right. It's all there's all uh, various things wrong, and he has a list of them. So here's our new ordinance, mm. and they say, we're not going to pass it. So now you have no order. Right. But that's how I, that's the only way I could see that you could interpret that. Because if some people will say, well, if we don't pass it, we get to keep the ninety two. Yeah. That's another question. Which is a collection. Yeah. How to move it forward. Yeah, it's not on this list. So I don't know why I have two of these and it's not on this list, mm -hmm. so because I found it afterwards. <laughs> could be, I don't know. No, I mean you've had that for a while, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I did it like in June. Yeah. <laughs> 
I've just kept them just so I knew what, what we had as far as ordinances. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. This is policies. Policies. Sorry, sorry. This is policies. This is ordinances. There you go. Okay. This will be, <laughs> this will be interesting. It's kind of... It's kind of funny that MMA already has a format. Yeah. yeah. Nice yeah. and clean. Yeah. Fits on one page. And they have an information packet, and but it all refers to the, those laws as I read you. But I'll bet you, you... Is that it? No. Where is that? The... The MMA is on. What did I do with it? I just wanted to see it. The right. fire department right here. It can be such a political entity in all these towns that quite often... You know, someone's reaching in and trying to tweak something, mm -hmm. and that's kind of what was going on in Lebanon, I think. Yes. It's like the town manager's like, no, that's not how you do this. Right, and so then we'll, we'll all quit. quit. We'll all quit. <laughs> Sounds. Good. It's interesting. Wow. <laughs> but we all know how that could happen. I mean. Yeah, I mean, I mean they don't know. They think no, they but I mean both sides. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can, I can see the town manager's side, how they would move to do that, and I can also see the reaction side where three pros of department say I'm all done. Yep. Yeah, well, yep. particularly if they're being told the town manager is overstepping his limits yep. or that's doing right. something that's, that's yep, right. wrong. Yep. I mean, they might try to block the paving of a highway. This is very simple. <laughs> very, simple. very simple. Very simple. Well, be. I think, honestly, I think that's what yeah, you want. That's I mean, right. And, no and all it does is say ambiguity. That, that way there, it allows the between the select board, the town manager, and the fire chief, yep. it well, allows to... Manage and run it the way you see fit. Everybody's right. expectations are easily managed. Right, exactly. Right. When you start naming too many things in your ordinance, so you need to do this, you need to do that. Yeah, then just, it gets sticky. Yeah. Okay. That's it seemed like there were a number of places there where it looked like the select board did something, and then the town manager does something, and then the chief does something, and then sometimes they were like Both conflicting. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was, anyway, it was a little funky. Mm -hmm. So um, I will. Contact MMA and, and find out some of this stuff. I will contact the fire chief, and we will all try to get together at the next regularly sure. mm -hmm. scheduled yep. mm -hmm. board meeting. And it's all very positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just we want to touch base with yeah. them. And absolutely. Okay, on to uh, DOT work on 23. Okay, I received this Monday, and I sent it to you mm, this morning, maybe. I saw it. <laughs> I read it. Um, there's two pages for you to sign. I don't know for sure whether I recommend or don't recommend it. Signing it? Well, I, I recommend signing it, but I don't know a lot about the topic. We don't know what we're agreeing to. Uh, well, I, I wouldn't do, I mean, I'm not, my, I'm not, my opinion, I'm, and maybe, maybe, I'm not willing to sign it until somebody, have until somebody legal. tells us that this is our plan and this is the road we're going to run on and this is when. They, we have, um, <clears throat> as far as we're concerned, it's going to be from our town line on 23 to within half a mile of the I don't care about Turner Road. Road. Correct. To that doesn't matter. That's what they're going to pay. So, that's what they're going to pay. That's good. So what, what this is about is whether or not we need bonding if they're going to use any, if they're going to be on any other side roads. Side like roads. Between Silva's Mills or French's Mills. We and would by think. By All signing like that, you're granting them permission to run on our roads heavy, overweight heavy equipment. and while roads being posted. Which is why they say, do you need, do you, do you want to be bonded? Do you want this, that, or the other thing? So I, I haven't had a chance to ca call the DOT um, but and the local roads. Uh, no. Right. But I wanted it in front of you. Right, sure. I talked to Dexter's town manager. Grandpa said he'd sign it as soon as you could get it signed to keep things moving. But it's yeah, not like... Are they paving 23 for Dexter, too? Yes. Yeah, okay. That's going to be great. But they're not paving it to, to Sangerville for us. No, no, but they're going to the Turner Road. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's no. bad. I fully agree. <laughs> yeah, it no, it's, really I'll take it. <laughs> but, I mean, if they're going to do that work and they're going to run overweighted trucks across Silver's Mills on Posted Road, Silver's Mills is not going to take that. 
It could. It conceivably could be destructive. It's, it's supposedly not going to happen till summer, so I can nail down all of all of yeah, the facts maybe, for you. Maybe that. You know when it wouldn't be posted, but. So and I don't right know. Across all of our brand new paving. Mm, they could. So you, I'd like all of you to read it more carefully. I'll read it more carefully. I will talk to the Department of Transportation. Um, as I said, I've read it, but I couldn't fully digest it. I don't even know how we go about bonding. Well, um, I don't want to damage that road, but I, I certainly know. don't want to be the guy who doesn't pay 23. Right, right. No, right. no, 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 <laughs> no, no. That would be bad. bad. Right. Yeah. It is. But I can't imagine... I mean, like Trampa said, well, he'd wanted it signed, but he doesn't have a meeting for another two weeks. So I can't imagine we're going to be any further behind no, than they are. Right. And, and they, Gilbert must be getting, well, no, 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 that's not coming up that far. They must have done the one when they did 16, though. Yep. I mean, it, uh, every community deals with it, so there's got to be... No, they wouldn't do it on 16, they would have run right down through it, so they ran all on state roads. Right, and that was what Trampas was saying was... To me, he thought, he thought they're going to all be on state roads. It isn't going to mean a thing. I but I don't really buy that because if you're yeah. going to run pavement out of pikes, you're going to want to run across French's Mills. Yeah. Oof, all the way well, back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which would be Dexter. Yeah. Dexter's, Dexter has a big piece of that. In fact, well, that's true. their oh, eastern end well, is a true. lot worse than where our line is up to where Newville is. Yeah. It's probably the best piece of Jones Mills Road. Mm -hmm. that, that's all, the Harford Lane piece is good, mm -hmm. and the piece down to mm -hmm. Dexter is good. Uh, but from the bridge, the mm -hmm. mainstream, back mm -hmm. towards Dexter, that's pretty easy. Is it bad? Uh, you yeah, would not bad. want to go through there with overload right now. I think it would <laughs> you'd tear it up bad. Well, it's supposed to yeah. our line, so. Yeah, I, our, I think our piece is, is much less risk than Dexter's piece. Under the scenario coming from Route Seven, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, really, I mean, you think about it. If they're going to come out of Pikes, they would, you would start the process. Mm -hmm. They would go into town and come up to a point because the trucks would be. But even then, your empty trucks would be circling around. Around, yeah, it would be the easiest. And way then to once go. you got to that certain point, you're going to start going the other way. Mm -hmm. You're going to run your full trucks down French's Mills and circling around. And then pretty quick, you're going to run your trucks off French's Mills, and then you're going to circle around Silver. But we don't know they're coming out of Pike either. That's 100% true. So they're not going that's, to come out of That's, that's a true. scenario that, I mean, if it's not, it would, they're never going to use this. So but if they're, if they're, they're empty they're, trucks still would. would. They'd be coming back through mid-loop. Now, yeah. they might take some reclaim over there. Because Pike has to 100%. take reclaim. So they could be taking trucks yep. full of old pavement over yep. there. Lots of it. <laughs> right. I mean, they're going to try to loop these trucks. I'm not going to want sure. these trucks meeting. No, no, no. That's right. On back roads. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, I wonder if it's just a, an exercise where we really don't have a lot, a lot of say. No, we do have say. That's what no, that says. The, really? We if trucking. we do. Yeah. Yeah. We, we cannot go on our we roads would, unless we. We would set a price of what we think it would cost to repair it if they. Mess up, you know, they got to be bonded, and huh? We wow. could we could with we could hold that contractor to fixing our roads if they make them. Sure. Yeah. And I mean that's the only prudent thing to do for your taxpayer. That's you got to protect right. your investment. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you didn't right. just go out there and spend. Yeah, I mean, a couple hundred thousand. Yeah. Walk my feeders, and they, and they damage that because yeah. they're working in Parkman. Yeah. Right. That would not be a smart thing mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we need no more information. Yeah. I I agree. I, I, <laughs> yeah. But I can't wait for him to pave that road. <laughs> so we will keep it right on the front burner and make sure that yeah, we, we have that information. Yeah, we protect our investment, and it's a win-win, right? If we, if they have... Oh, no, it's got to be yeah, done. We, yeah. And I feel there's a way to do it. Right, right. Yeah, it's not like we're trying to stop the work. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. But we need to protect, protect ourselves. ourselves. And, and yeah. you know they're doing it in every town throughout right. the state. Right, right. No. We just need to be smart and protect what we... Yep. Uh, town manager's report. Well, I figured I'd add that in here because I always have a bunch of things that I need to tell you and I wind up sprinkling them throughout the meeting and they don't <laughs> necessarily go under um, any other heading. Um, so, town manager's report. The town reports are in. I've only found one thing we forgot to fix. Um, Diane McCarthy Clark should have been under the Grange contact and would still says um, Alan Bray. Oh. 
Um, I was tardy with newspaper ads on the town meeting, so it, the only one it's going into is uh, the Rolling Thunder. I put it on Facebook. It's on our web page. Everybody I meet. It's do a letter to the editor and the observer, and you, if you do it that way, it'll pop it right up on Facebook. It'll hit social media as soon as they put it up there. It's too late. It's not for social media. It's too late to get it in print. Right. So, okay, so when I was talking with the Observer today about getting um, our mm -hmm. town hall statement in, it's too late to get it in print. Mm -hmm. They're going to, something's going to come up online. Yep. It, when I checked again this afternoon, they hadn't got it yet, nope, but I, I, assume, I assume they will. Yep. Um, so I could... You could do the same thing. You could write a letter to the other, yeah. to the editor as the town manager. Yeah, just an announcement. Yeah, yeah. It'll show up on social media. Yeah. 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 But I mean, yeah. I mean, it's just another avenue, that's all. It's I just think another you, avenue. I think you meant the, the statutory requirements, though. As far as posting it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's posted. Yeah. I mean, right. We did right. all of that right. correctly. Yeah. We just um, didn't announce. Yeah, we didn't. Right. I've been telling everybody, and obviously it's on, <laughs> it's on your town report. So if you, right, so if right. you wanted a town report, you know when and where it is. Um, I saw that we had thirty-seven hits already on Facebook, and things we put on Facebook range from generally fifty to one hundred. Mm -hmm. And how many? Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Uh huh. So that's all. It, um, it's on there. Um, election. We. We talked a little bit about that it was incredibly busy. Uh, we ran out of regular ballots, had to use our absentee ballots, but wow. we were fortunate. Lots of other towns had to, to actually copy them and um, hand them out. And if you do that, you have to hand count them. So there's some pretty big cities that were pretty PO'd that they, <laughs> they wow. hand count all their, all their ballots. Um, but like I said, we had three, over 340 people and um, it, I think it went fairly well considering that none of us ha had been on our own running a... Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you order those ballots? Do you, how do you, the how state you... sends them and, oh, and so you, we can't tell them how many they figure it um, based I think on, based on last. previous. Sure. Yeah. So we'll get a bunch more for November. Yeah, you know I mean? we Because are. they're going to say we had such a great turnout. You'd oh, think yeah. we're going to get... I, I bet you're going to need them in November. Yeah, yeah I, well. It seems as though in November they have to supply enough for every single citizen, wouldn't you think? It does. You know what? Over the last couple of years, though, it does seem like we are getting better turnouts. Yeah. In San mm. Maine is notoriously high. Yeah. One of the highest yeah. in the country. Is always that? has been. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, Sangable as a whole, some of yeah. this stuff has yeah. always been but really... Very... It is the trend in Maine. Yeah. Huh. We are going That's up. interesting. Yeah. So. Um, let's see, what else do I have on here? Homestead exemptions. I am currently going through our list at, um, Josh's, uh, not, he didn't request it, but he said you might want to look at this because, um, you'll have people who no longer live here and are still collecting and people who... Oh, that's huge. Yeah, and so I'm, oh. we're currently going through, uh, through that list and I'm going to have Lorna go through it because between the two of us we'll have... We'll know. Mm -hmm. Can we go back on that? I don't think so, but maybe. No, couldn't. I, well, it would be state statute, whether you can or not. Should I'd, I'll clear. ask Josh what he'd know. That's a good question, though. Well, if, if they're not, if you're sending their tax bill to another place, right. and you've been doing that for three years, that might be evidence of what you need. Mm -hmm. The question is, does statute allow you to attach it to the new tax bill? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you'll never get it. Right. <laughs> right. Um, Interesting. That's a, yeah, that's a... Uh, that's definitely something, though, that really should be... Every year. At least. Look, yeah. Yep. Something, so, yeah. So I'm trying to get that because, you know, April 1st is the deadline, so we're going to work on that some as well. Um, the Legion's Memorial upgrade. I was talking to Rob Haley about something else, so I asked him about that. He and Ed Grant had gone over some ideas, um, maybe some rock behind the memorial. It would be like seat high so you could sit on mm -hmm. it, some pavers to put some paths in. He's getting me a number. Um, it sounded very nice, and they thought about it, so mm. I did actually get that started. And that was all I had on my list. 
I needed to tell you tonight. I like this idea. Mm -hmm. We should continue this. <laughs> um, any, any more discussion about it? No? No. On to item 8. Okay. You have the floor again? I do. I wrote the post it. The, not this week, but the last week when it hit 50 degrees. Um, and I've had a few people report to me that indeed all the roads are posted because I haven't seen all of them, but there have been a few people who've gone out and checked. Um, sure. <laughs> you posted actually the same time everybody else did. Yeah. That Sunday I was out around through Dover and Corinth. Everybody was out that weekend. But if Rusty Jackson hadn't called me to tell me that I needed to get on it, I might not have. Yeah, you would, because I was going to text you. Yeah, day. well... So, but but I want to tell you that there were some community members who were being very helpful and not. Mm -hmm. They're trying to help. Not not pushy. Not sure. not yeah, yeah. not That's telling good. me. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Um, not telling me where I screwed up, but just being helpful. Um, I'm going to try to set up a committee meeting because we've got a bunch of gravel roads we need to discuss. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's I don't think. Fast, yeah, yeah, I don't know that I'll do it next week. I'm going to try to schedule it for the week after because next week's town meeting, and mm -hmm. um, and I've been reaching out to some contractors trying to get some numbers. Herricks has given me some numbers. Um, of course, Bailey's numbers are state. I've got a couple others that I haven't got numbers from yet, but. Yeah. Um, so when you say numbers, you mean numbers like dump for truck sizes and dump truck sizes and okay, so what, what do you have for equipment? You know that, so you can yeah. Compare what Eric's got for yardage or whoever. Yep. Yep. Um, I even reached out to Haley's to see if they could run a group. We talked before, and they just lost the name. Parity. Oh yeah. About even. Some I should stuff. call Parity. I mean, they've got dump trailers now, so mm -hmm. they're, running, they're running everywhere, and they got a huge screen. If you go by there now on the way to Newport, it's amazing how much material they're screening and Wow. Oh, yeah. That's, I know. I don't feel yeah. I, I'll call and That's them. not really that far when you're talking a dump trailer. No. You know, I mean, no. little dump truck's one thing. But that's right. So, yeah. I mean, even with them, your cost may be a little higher per trip, but when you break that up to yard no. price, it may not be that bad. That's Fewer right. trips. Yeah. yeah. Fewer. That's so. right. I thought with Haley's was they have somebody who would be in charge of if I had them go out and do... A section of this road, you know, I want ditching culverts, blah blah blah. They'd have somebody out there supervising. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Rob said he'd look at it, he'd think about it, he'd get me some yeah. numbers. I'd, they might be so out of bulb. I don't know. I wouldn't mind reaching out to Ramdies. Oh, oh yeah. That's true. Yeah, 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 They've yeah. given me some paving numbers. I can go get some. Uh, yes, definitely. That's. But uh, they, uh, they're they've graded a lot of roads. You could get a greater number off them. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. They'll do mm -hmm. culverts. They'll do everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean. Mm -hmm. They have. He has a good attitude. Yeah. Very good. And, and we got a we got a nice parking lot up there that he could stage equipment in. So he, like you got to drive back and forth. All true. No. True. And, uh, I mean. And he's hoping that's to right. get some more paving work from us. That's yeah. right. He is. And then yeah, that's a good idea. His paving numbers were matching everybody else's, so I didn't. But that's where the roads are at. Um, I got a call, I think I was telling you yesterday, from a resident who wanted to know about temporary road closings. Yeah. So I started looking at it. Apparently, the same statute that allows us to post would allow us to, to temporarily um, close a road. We need to have it in our road ordinance, however. You can't, although it's spelled out in state law, but if you have an ordinance, I guess that supersedes it, so we should spell it out. In this particular case, is the line road. I can't see most anybody else traveling down it if they didn't need to. Yeah. Um, so, so I don't know that, I don't know that there's any don't sense. Don't we share that road with Dover, though? We do. Yeah, we do. We so do. have ours. Yeah. We just close, close our Close half. one side. <laughs> yeah. So we'll drive out the other side? Yeah. It's a one lane well, now. <laughs> my only thing is, I, yeah. didn't, I, mean, I don't. In this case, I don't see any sense in doing it. But I, it no. did lead me to do a little bit so of. So this person's inquiry was they they thought we should consider closing it. Yeah. Okay. But I, don't, but I don't see how that's going to work. But so it's the same person lives on the road with a heavy piece of equipment that might be overweight when they're driving in out of it. Could be. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. 
And then I've had um, <laughs> issues on the so what is gray the rules road. On that because I don't know. As far as if you know, if, I've heard before that if it's your job as an operator that you are allowed mm -hmm. to be on the road. Um, the exception. The, the, yeah. the exception. As far as the back and forth the work. I don't know. I don't know. I, I've never. I didn't see anything while I was reading. The exceptions are for things like milk trucks, milk trucks, fire uh, fuel trucks. trucks um, mm -hmm. So yep. I mean, they're pretty. Yeah. And in drought, water trucks. Right, right, right. Trucks. Yeah, it's but not that's a, interesting. Not a problem, that's but, an yeah. interesting if you live on that road and your equipment's your at your in your door yard because it's that's your source of employment. Sure. Back and forth. I, that surprises me if that's the case. I don't know, but it happens. I've seen it on numerous of our posted roads. That's happening. Yeah. It has for years. Mm. I can ask. People have brought I'm... heavy equipment in and out because it's their only source. Their Although, job. remember when Toby asked us because he wanted to haul some potatoes early, and he's on a posted road. Uh, remember he had, we... I do remember this conversation. I just don't remember. Wasn't it, no, it wasn't potatoes. Wasn't that something to do with that garage they were building? Oh, I uh, may have been it, but he, but he, I mean, he, if you extrapolated that, you could say, well, he's in there and he's got that equipment. If he needs to get from point A to point B, he can do it because that's where his point of operation. But you're is. saying it's only if if you're like, this is what you so do like for a job, for, not if you're a contract. Correct. Yeah, you. Which you know, is, I work for you. I am thinking like a saying. difference without, uh, you know, a distinction without a difference. But right. I fully agree with you. I'm not yeah. saying it's right. Let's say you're Mr. George out there, to and know that goes posted. Can he get out? But if but if he's an employee, he can get out. That doesn't. That doesn't seem. I, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't know. I haven't seen anything that, that yeah. even suggests that's legal. Right. Right. I'm just. <laughs> yeah. You've seen several track trailers from people that used to drive truck me on our road, yeah. and that's what the town manager told them. That was because I've asked, and that's what I was always told. Oh, oh, oh uh, yeah, yeah, that particular town manager. Correct. Well, oh. that's, that's why I said like, if we. Anything. That's why I would like to know the way this is supposed to work, <laughs> because the line road has a similar situation. Mm. That's a posted road, and it just r r destroys the roads. Well, I also have a person complaining because the bus is destroying the gray road. Oh, wow. That one I don't think we no, can. We, we no, can't. No. <laughs> so I, I called the guy at the bus garage just because I've never spoken to him since, you know, they've caught it retired and just, you know. Just touch base. Just, just yeah. base and talk with him. And he's like, fortunately, you know, there's, not, there's nothing we can do. And I said, I, I know. And Warren's of the opinion that it helps the road. It kind of flattens out some of the ruts that everybody else puts in it. Puts in it. Um, but I, the, I the complainer wanted the kids to, you know, get a ride to the bottom of the road and be picked up by the bus there because that's want what us we to use. Make them do that. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, legally, I can't do that. And the uh, guy at the bus garage says, "Well, you know, there's some fairly young kids, and they have strict rules about the having to drop them off at their." At the end of the day, I bet if you took a school bus in that length and the weight spread out over that distance is probably not any different, better, worse off on the road right. to pick up. I think you're Even, probably right. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's not a heavy... It's not a heavy thing. Yeah. You're Even spread when it's out. children. It's right. not, no. And once again, you have differing opinions, but, right. but the answer is there's nothing I can do about it. And <laughs> right. Different opinions, but it's pretty easy to... Yeah. And probably a school bus is exempt. I would, I would imagine yeah. school yeah. buses are they, they, exempt. You know, just like a milk truck and a fire truck and a water. I don't know what happens if they get mired and they can't get in or out. I don't. Last I knew, this I can't remember I the think grade level, we but have to. they're not even allowed to drop kids off anymore without seeing the visit right. the parent. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So God. if you're saying so you're sixth gonna, grade, I think this is sixth grade. Yeah. Quite a ways. yeah. I, there I, ain't no more. You know, I walked to kindergarten. Yeah. yeah it was yeah. a mile. I walked a mile to kindergarten. Yes. In Dexter. It was. I wasn't the only one. Right. Right. You know, now you can't drop your kid off the driveway. No, you can't unless they visually see. Wow, parent. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So, and that's the end of that report. Okay, on to correspondence. No. Um, item ten: request for additional agenda items. None. Selectman's concerns.
really quick one just because I just noticed over here. Are we going to have, we've usually done this in the past, a quick selectman's meeting after the town meeting? Because you have to post it. We should. Yeah. We should. Well, because I mean, we get down doing that and then there's always that. We'd what have to come here. We'd come down here. Back here. Yeah. Yeah. What are we going to be meeting? That's when we've done a whole bunch of our appointments and stuff. There's always well, things. Do you, we, I'll go check and see. There's what always you things do. we have to do. After yeah, town yeah, meeting. right after. So we come right well, well, and you, I think meeting. you're swearing your new selectman too. That, yeah, that's, that's true. That's how that's always been done. Okay, I'll go look and see how we do but it. Would, and there's always been stuff that we've had to finish. Right. Well, like I knew, like for the special. You you get your road money approved, and we came and had a meeting and yeah, no, and went yeah even okay in. no and I can see items depending on how your warrant goes there might be some things that you might want to start working on pronto you know here's okay based on what we learned today here's the tact we're going to take so yeah I, I think it's a great idea okay I'll get I'll um, it. or even I mean if you want to do the, the next, next day because it's at night yeah it's at night know, and yeah. who knows how you long know the discussion time be. yeah. I just don't know if you want to, if we want to go out to the 18th, that's all. Oh, so maybe perhaps, March 12th is what? What about Friday noon? It's a Thursday. Thursday. So next Thursday night is our town meeting. Right? Correct. Friday the 13th. That's a lovely day. <laughs> we could do Friday noon. <laughs> yeah. We could. All right. Do you want to think about it? I'm looking right now. Okay. It might be too early for me to answer. answer. Oh, okay. The only thing as far as selectmen is concerned is um, salt sand. How are we doing? It's a little rough. So I, I say there's five, we got like five or six good storms. You guys did this last year to me. Yeah. Every time you drive by the pile, you get nervous. And we I know. Okay. Which, no, it's getting there. I mean, but it should be getting there, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 All the I mean, March, I mean, we're beginning of March. It's the way it works. I mean, yep. Because you don't know. If you're alone now, more, you notice if, it. If yeah. we have two more weeks like we did this week, we're golden. But if we have two more weeks of solid freezing rain, we ain't going to have it. Right now, it looks, I mean, it we've got a week good. of rain. It's, it's, it's going to be a lot of rain. Oh. Right, but I mean, the temperatures are up there. Yeah. 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 But the, the other good part, night. too, is, and this is why it looks deceptive, is yeah. if you notice that whole left, yeah. there's a pile near the salt shed, and there's a lot on the left-hand side. So I'm assuming what that is, it was like wet, froze, clumpy. Oh, and so they... So once this warms up a little bit and starts to rain mm -hmm. off, they're going to be able to utilize... Oh, they could get a couple of those right out here. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. same well, thing at the garage. <laughs> <I'm May. laughs> anyway, just all right, all right. yeah. This definitely I know. Dwindling. I thought he was more of a Jody's all over that. <laughs> it's definitely getting there I now. <laughs> I'm not nervous yet, but see how okay. the weather goes. We so, could have a call. we could have an emergency meeting by the time we're done, but I think we're gonna be okay. We're not going to have another meeting before a town meeting. No. So is there anything you guys want to talk about with that? No? I mean... Uh, Any organizational... I, are we going to... Somebody going to speak before Well, the, I think we got to be prepared, for, particularly for our question on right. this and building. That's going to be a, kind of a, a totally different format in that it's kind of going to be an open, flowing... Discussion. I don't even know if we're going to be able to stick to Robert's rules and have a conversation. Um, I mean, well, we are. I mean, Paul's going to have to run it that way. He's yeah. going to, you know, be respected. Everybody's going to have to be respected. Go but at the end him. of the day, is right. We also got to look at this: is how long are we going to let that go? Right, right. You know what I mean? Is are and we going to say each person gets, I don't know, X amount of questions? Are you going to say we're going to let this go for two hours? I mean. I think a lot. I think the most important thing that we can get done is, uh, based on s some phone calls I had today, that we can substantiate what we printed, mm -hmm. that it's real. Mm -hmm. That I think is going to quell well, a lot of it, because I mean, it, really, this is the point of this was to share what we've learned. Right. And right. I mean, um, so even on this side, do we have anything in writing? Was that one hundred percent verbal? Um. Your other two contracts. I've got quotes. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. So you're going to get that. I've got quotes other. right here in, for this, uh, yeah, in, no, in, the, in this folder. I have the report from the auditor that says you have to get us an engineer. I have the report from MMA that says this is what we're doing to your sure. insurance. 
So the only one that really isn't in, in right, even from Carpenter's, I have a list of what's wrong. The only thing he didn't really put in writing were... And about Dollar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, that, and that's, it doesn't need to be any more specific than what we printed. It's, yeah. It's, we printed, we wrote that based on what? He the told conversation him. you had with him. He just needs to reiterate that in an yeah. email and that right. will be fine. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, some but of I that's email. For the purposes of our meeting, that's probably the most important. If we, as long as we can substantiate right. what we've learned. Well, I mean, honestly, if you get a quote for a hundred and a half and you're only looking at one wall, it does make total sense. Yeah. And you're talking 400 to do the whole thing. Right. You're getting a hell of a deal to do the whole thing. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, if you do the common math, it's going to put you well above that number. And, it, and his written report does say it's it's the whole the whole thing is a problem, thing. not one wall. So Correct. it's consistent. It's just yeah, the whole thing's a problem, and it's caused additional problems here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Good. Okay. What about road wise, pavement wise? Do we have everything? Oh yeah, I would be definitely ready will, with McFeeders. I'll bring McFeeders numbers. Um, I didn't go to the extent that I Irving, think that's going to be hushed Irving wanted me to do. Um, well, I mean, we know basically what we spent up there. Now. Yeah. And we know how we did it. We reclaimed it. He wanted it. every bill, and he wanted yeah, this one, that, and I... How many other like, culverts, and how many spade full no. of gravel? And, yeah. 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 Uh, okay. I'll make sure that I have that in my hand. I will have my budget folder with me, so I can tell you what we spent, and... Put your hands and on. on it. But I mean, as far as this year goes, and even your dirt roads, I mean, we all know we have not put much gravel down on our dirt, dirt roads. Yeah. No. What you have budgeted is nowhere near to bring all of them up to par again. So no. I think the biggest thing to do would be if you could come up with, uh, you know, key spots, uh, you know, that you want to focus on. Not so much as saying we're going to put so many ads here, so many ads there, but. You know, a couple areas that you know that might yeah. help that. I know Line Road is, mm -hmm. and I don't know what we're going to do about it, and that's kind of what I need my committee to. Um, yeah, it's kind of like the Dover Dump Road. I mean, same thing. We've thrown gravel at that for years, built it up for years. That's the way it is. I mean, yeah. There's got to be something for a spring underneath. Yeah, that's right. right. That's exactly what it has right. to be. I keep hearing there's a spot on Flanders Hill that we really ought to. Address. It's um, the same thing. It's a spring right there, but for the corner. This is by the swamp. Yep. Yeah. Every year, it does the same exact thing. Yep. Yeah. So I don't know. Stone. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So you know, all our all our roads are muddy, and from what I understand, is we're in a little bit. Of, have you been to the dump lately? I heard that was interesting. To the Dover dump. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's. I heard it makes our line road look pretty. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. It was dicey. I don't go down there if I don't have to. We dinner. went the back way to Exeter from Garland to take the door across. Yeah. Wow. Some of those roads in Garland were ruts three feet oh. deep. I mean, really bad. <laughs> it's, well, it's just the type of winter you yeah. had and just the type, I mean. Wow. wow. I saw the Camp Benson Road do that in Newport one year. And people, then it locked right up. And People were tearing calipers off their cars trying to get through there. So well, bad. that's the other thing, too, to think about as far as the grading, if you can mm -hmm. get some numbers going. Because yeah. what ended up, what's happened the last few years where we have been putting the, the salt out there to dry the roads up, these roads so when you rock in the spring. Mm -hmm. they don't, you don't have much of a window from, no, you don't. from the time it's <laughs> to dry enough to grade till you need to it's 100% yeah, yeah. too hard and I can't do anything. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a two, two, three week window. Yeah. So as far as, you know, okay. if we have a couple of people you want to talk about it, you might want to get on that because. But we're competing with every other community. Too. Yep. Yep. But you're absolutely right. I mean, it's, the window is incredibly small. Yeah, it was amazing how much difference it is now that we've been applying that every year. Mm -hmm. What it's really doing to the dirt roads. When do you generally apply it? Right after grading. Right after you grade. You go from, oh, we can't really get on it to, mm. damn, it's too late. It's too late. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> too late to grade it now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe next year. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's just unbelievable. Yeah. But actually, that is a case where the teeth make a difference. Yep. The teeth will break it out. But we don't want to do every road with... Well, it's, if, if you do it early, you got to do it. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. you do it early. You do it when you, when you can do it, when you're supposed to do it. 
then you, with a decent sized machine, you don't need the teeth. But once she starts setting in, you either go bigger machine or teeth. Yeah. Okay. So. On it. And actually, <laughs> actually, I have no idea. We've never used him, but I know for grading, but Herrick's grades, they've got two massive big graders. Do they? I mean, they grade many miles of road. Oh, so that so might that be, may even be something. nice, nice and local He's good. and get them. Let's get the grader on the list. I can't remember the number off the top of my head. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that might be good. Okay. Um, any any more concerns of the selectmen? No. no. Nobody requesting executive session. Uh, let's make a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Six o'clock straight up. Second. Second. We are adjourned.